welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about prepping first aid supplies, specifically over-the-counter medication. In the future we may have challenges or you may have challenges at the present time in your area getting over-the-counter medication. Also I want to address prescription eyeglasses. So let's start out with the over-the-counter medication. As you see in this video, I have ibuprofen, some backups to ibuprofen. I do have Tylenol in, in the cabinet. There's even ibuprofen PM. I have low-dose aspirin. And if you have any young children or infants, uh, have some Tylenol that is for infants or children. Let me say that I am not a medical professional. I'm not a pharmacist. I am only telling you what I store. I am not suggesting that you go out and buy anything specific or take any of these medications without your doctor's advice. Also you will see they're called boogie wipes. It is not sponsored by boogie wipes this video but this is handy not only for young children it could be handy for adults they're saline wipes just to wipe your nose after a while you know you the Kleenex doesn't work the tissues don't work uh, you just want to wipe off your nose also there are quite a few other things that you can put in your prepper pantry for over-the-counter medication one thing is allergy medicines this is an over-the-counter allergy medicine it works well. Uh, it's a CVS brand, so it's a store brand. And you can get this in one or two packs, I found. You can actually get two packs. Also, allergy and congestion relief. Uh, the non-drowsy type. That's in here. This is by Kroger. I found over the years that some of these medications work for a while, maybe two or three years, or maybe one season. When the wind changes and the pollen changes, the medication may need to be adjusted and you get something different. Again, contact your doctor to see what they say and follow their instructions. There's another brand, it's by HEB, that's a, a, a grocery store, but it's a nasal, nasal decongestant that can be taken. So you can have this on hand just in case. Some of your family members may have certain medications over the counter that they use and they work well. And then other people in your in your household can't use the same medication. So you'll need to get other over the counter medications to have on hand for them. There's another one, it is an ATB brand and it's maximum strength sinus relief it's for the daytime and there's also a nighttime pill in there so you take this during the day and then the same type of medication could be used at night it probably has something in there that would help you relax and treat your symptoms at the same time or address your symptoms my favorite and go-to is Advil sinus congestion and pain it has been very good for me it works every year now during the seasons if it's spring or fall I may have to change but I always come back to the Advil sinus congestion and pain because it just works so well for me so the over-the-counter medications I don't know if in your store you have found some shortages are there bare shelves I have seen bare shelves in some grocery stores where there's just nothing in that area in that aisle yes it could be pollen season but if you see in the store maybe someone buying three or four boxes that's why they could have a large family or they may just want to stock up so next time the season comes around to take these medications they will have it on hand 
Another thing, again, I want to address is going to be prescription glasses. But let's start with the glass cleaner. You can use, this is not for your eyes, but it's lens cleaner. So that would be for your glasses. I always keep an extra pair of prescription glasses on hand. As you see in this video, this is the extra pair. There's a great reason for this. If I'm outside working and for some reason my glasses fall off, somebody steps on them, I step on them, whatever it might be, then I can make sure that I have an extra pair in the house. I also have a, a little, I call it a little string, but it's an attachment to the glasses that keep them, goes around the back of my head, it keeps them secure on my, on my nose and things like that, so they don't fall. Well, they don't fall as easy, but it's always good to have an extra pair of prescription glasses on hand for everyone in your family that wears glasses. Also, if they wear contacts, and no one here does, but if they do wear contacts, it's excellent to have a supply of your contacts, your solution, whatever you need. My opinion is we are going to run into some challenges in the future because of the diesel and the trucks not being able to bring the products to the store. So, in your prepper pantry area, where you have first aid supplies, I would take time, take inventory, and write a list, and whenever you can, stock up on the most important items first, and then work your way down your list. Where you have a supply, maybe for six months, depending on the season, uh, possibly a year. The shelf life on these the best by date they're very long very long if you don't open them and some of them last for a very long time this is the HEB sinus relief and I'll show you the best by date it says expiration but it's a best by date 0823 so I have a, at least a year and a half left on that I do watch the dates. I put uh, the older dates at the front, so we use those first. That way it's easy to rotate. I have heard, and I've just heard, I can't tell you if it's fact or not, that they would be fine a little bit after that date without a problem. Like I said, I don't have any proof of that, but I have heard people say that. People have taken, let's say, sinus relief medicine, if that's all they had on the shelf and they couldn't get to the store because they just felt too bad, they went ahead and they took the medication they had and they were fine. Of course, they replaced it when they went to the store the next time. I appreciate you stopping by to talk about all these different over-the-counter medications and the challenges that we might come across in the near future are definitely maybe in, well, definitely in the fall. They always run short in the fall because everyone may get a sinus infection or whatever. In the comments below, let me know if you have seen any shortages in over-the-counter medication. And this video is just addressing a very small portion of the different types of over-the-counter medications. There are so many more. This is just your basic pain relief, allergy, sinus season issues, and also your prescription glasses. But in the comments, please let me know if you have seen any shortages on over-the-counter medication in your area. If you enjoyed this video and found the content helpful, please give me a thumbs up and make a comment below. Visit my channel because I come out each day with new information, current information that you might be able to use in your everyday life, and you might be able to pass along to other people in your family or your friends. 
I hope to see you very soon, and I wish you well.